Yo, Adrian, how you doing? Hey, we're in um, Catawissa, C-A-T-A-W-I-S-S-A, -S -S Pennsylvania, and uh, we're at the Hooded Grave Cemetery. Its real name is the Mount Zion Cemetery, but I guess over the years, because of what's here, it adopted the uh, Hooded Grave um, Cemetery, and a hooded grave is actually a type of grave. I think it used to be common many, many, many years ago, but I think there's only two in existence anymore in the whole country and they're both right here at the Hooded Grave Cemetery. I could be wrong about that, but I think I'm pretty sure. Here's one of them right behind me. This one belongs to Sarah and Ran Ranslow Boone. Oh, she was a consort of Ranslow Boone. See, there's a there's uh, some old stories and folklore about vampires and being attacked by vampires and those were buried in these types of graves with hoods on them because vampires come back to life and they didn't want them to escape so that's one of the stories probably not true um, then again Barnabas Collins would beg to differ <laughs> So, uh, it's a pretty cool place. There's another hooded grave over here behind Adrian, my lovely assistant, who's working her way up to baby ghoul status. <laughs> uh, there's another one. It's really cool. Uh, has a nice hood. It's in good shape. Here, check it out. Has these little birds on each end. Um... I don't know what kind of bird that's supposed to be. Maybe a dove is a sign of peace. And we all want that when we go to the grave. Yo, Adrian, how you doing? Hey, we're back. Sorry, I got interrupted uh, by a phone call. I forgot I had my sound turned on. I never have my sound turned on. Because if I get a phone call and I'm in the middle of a video, a video I just let it keep buzzing in my pocket. And then I get a cheap thrill. You know what I mean? I like you do. I like it very much. But anyway, we were talking about this bird. Um, they got the birds at the top. There's another one on the other end of the hood for this uh, hooded grave. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell what kind of a bird it is. But if you look up close at the face, it looks like it's almost gargoyle-ish. You know, look, look look at the eye on the, come here on the side. Look at the eye. Can you see the eye? Yeah. Uh, stand, don't get too close. Right about there. Yeah, yeah. the eye looks kind of gargoyle-ish. I don't know, maybe it's some sort of a gargoyle bird. I never heard of that, but it's pretty cool. And there's somebody in here, but I can't make out the name. Wait, it might be John F. Thomas. No, because it says daughter of, so it's not John. I can't read the first name. The last name is definitely Thomas. And uh, uh, that one's very difficult to read. It's covered with dirt and some grass and stuff and I ain't sticking my hand in there because somebody lives in that house behind us so we gotta behave ourselves while we're here. It's got this big beautiful plant growing out of it. Here's another stone on the front. Uh, probably unrelated. Whoever ABT is. Uh, I don't know. What's T stand for? Transylvania. <laughs> Gargle bird. Not gargle, gargoyle. <laughs> Pretty cool. Good stuff. Alright. So we got Sarah Ann and we got the daughter of somebody named Thomas. And uh, well, these are probably the only two hooded grades in the entire country. Both right here outside of Catawissa, Pennsylvania. Good stuff. Nice little cemetery. It's very quiet out here. You know? Yes. He who walks through the rose. Right? Children of the Corn. <laughs> oh, that's another movie. But uh, we'll see you later. Says the Wandering Woodsman. <laughs>